What's up, Simonics? Welcome to a special vlog episode because this week I want to show you the life of a self employed developer. And of course, special edition this week is just like the week before quarantine for all of us here in Germany. So I will show you how our days look like. Actually, I planned to get up earlier today, but my alarm on my Apple Watch didn't go off. I'm not sure what's wrong. But I already started today with some research for a new topic because Monday morning for me is content morning. I try to create at least one tutorial per week and one video of this kind. Monday morning I have to work on the tutorial. Uh, first of all come up with an idea and write some code, then create a post from it and then create a video. Uh, let's do all of this. Alright, almost 11 a.m. I finished the code for the tutorial, which is about the splash screen with Ionic. Actually, these tutorials come out in a few weeks because I plan in advance. I have always scheduled my content for weeks ahead, just because if I'm sick a week, if there are other important things, I don't want to miss posting videos and new content to my channels, so everything is prepared up front and in the case that something goes wrong I can always take off a week and still there's new content for the watchers and readers of my content. Let's record a bit of my content with my nice green screen turned on and also with a lot of lights around me so I really need to hurry up. It's getting quite warm in this room. Because of the current situation, my wife and I are at home together. She takes care of our baby. Well, she's not a baby anymore, but she needs a lot of attention. During the morning, it is now almost, well, 11.30 a.m., which means it is time to cook some healthy meal using HelloFresh. No ad, because, well, I just like it. And then I have one more hour, perhaps, while uh, my daughter is sleeping to finish my work. But for now, it's cooking time because healthy food is important. The post outline is now ready and my daily work time is basically over. Currently I get about five hours. The last things I always do are um, shutting down or I have called this task shutdown task because I answer all community questions, I answer all my um, chat support tool questions. So everything is finished and once I'm done with all of this, I can finally take some time to either relax or maybe she's already awake. So my watch begins. All right, that's it for the first day of the week. I created one tutorial, um, which took me about five hours. That's all of the time I currently have during the current situation. Now it's almost 2 p.m. My daughter will be awake soon, so that means more playtime. And then tomorrow we will work on... Yeah, tomorrow I think I'll also work on a new vlog episode, so more video recording, and I got a few tasks of client consulting projects. And that's basically my day. And since we anyway can't really go outside currently, that's basically the end of the day. We just enjoy our time. The weather is great in Germany. That's actually very good. try to start my morning in the same way, which means getting a cup of tea, a glass of lemon water, some meditation, writing uh, my journal, my five minute journal, and just easing into the day in my own way, which works most of the time great. Today I also added sports to the mix, so now I'm fresh out of the shower and ready for the task and I actually wasted a bit uh, too much time on finding a new Mac, perhaps a Mac mini or a new setup because I want to change this and I want to have a Windows PC at the same time, so perhaps a Mac mini, regular displays, a eGPU and a Windows machine so I can also play some other games. I also wanted to work on a client project, apparently the client had some 
internal miscommunication. That's why I will simply work on another vlog because preparing things is always great. It gives me time for other tasks. So now it's 9 a.m. and time to record a vlog in the vlog, so it's kind of vlogception. But before I do that, I actually have to make some space for everything in here because I can't work with a desk like that. Okay, so far I finished recording the vlog, the architecture review, I really enjoyed talking about this. I created a preview for a new Instagram post, so all of this takes time of course. And now I can finally edit the vlog, which is for last next week, but once this video is... I think it's... La uh, I really get confused with planning ahead a bit, but I know what to do, um, edit videos. <laughs> The vlog is finished, the sun is up, it is my time to take care of our child, so see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday morning and I actually made a huge mistake. Because my iMac is so slow, I wanted to run the first aid tool, but I didn't carefully read the text which said it could take several minutes or hours. So basically my iMac is now locked for I don't know how long. There's actually no button to cancel this operation. It is 7 a.m. I just wanted to start, so... Um, it just finished while I was recording this. I'm back on my screen. Now the day can start. Uh, today I want to work on a new course for the Ionic Academy. I will show you more about this soon. Alright, finally made my purchase decision. First of all I bought a new external hard drive because the Mac Mini is five years old, has a fusion drive and as far as I know only a small part of the fusion drive is an SSD drive. And I think that might be a reason why it is so slow. So I bought an external SSD, which means tomorrow or over the weekend, I'll have a lot of fun setting up everything once again. But I really hope it will be faster then. It is now 8 a.m. perfect time to get started with my capacitor course. While working on my capacitor course, I just found out that the live reload works on actually iOS and Android at the same time. So amazing, let me show you. I just hit refresh and there we go. Both devices updated with live reload of capacitor. So really looking forward to this course, which will um, take a bit more time to create. So I usually create the code and then I guess next week I'll record the course and edit the course and upload it. There's really a lot of work involved, but today I'll try to finish the preparation so I can next week then batch and record all the lessons of the course. All right, now the morning's already over again. The course preparation wasn't too successful because there was a major version change of capacitor and nothing basically worked like I expected. So. The task took way longer and I'm not very satisfied with the result. I made a quick workout using the SORKIT app, which I can definitely recommend if you need to work out from home. I think it was actually uh, built with Ionix. I think it was one of their first showcases. Anyway, my time is over. Her time begins now. End of the workday. Tomorrow is Thursday. I finally managed to get up early again. It is not even 6 a.m. and I'm awake. But today I want to work on my own test so I'm more motivated and I can start early.
Great morning so far. I work with Firestore and Algolia Search. I never did this before. I created a cloud function to uh, seed Algolia to build an index and now I can actually use full text search with Firebase through this in my Ionic book project. So really great progress for the morning. I'm already happy. Now I'll hopefully go out for a run and then work a bit more on this task and then this will be a great Thursday. All right, finished a quick 5K run. Now I feel great. Um, but the morning is already pretty much over once again. And by now you might have noticed that my days are kind of boring actually. And yes, that's really the case since some time. Before the current crisis, I had at least one day during the week at an external office for working for a company. Right now I'm completely at home and every day basically looks the same. I work on content, on videos, on tutorials, on courses. Um, or just like today on new product and to some degree that's really challenging because uh, you never really know for what you actually get paid I see my numbers but it's it's really hard for example today I created or I worked actually on the application for a book I still have to write the book I still have to finish the application and I need to find people buying the book so I really don't know if anyone's going to uh, pay me for the time that I invest in this project and I've actually already invested quite a few days. Anyway, during the process today I picked up Algolia for search with Firebase, uh, which worked pretty great. So I'm always really happy to pick up something new. Um, so if at any point in the future I have to get a job, um, I know that I have a lot of great skills that are up to date and I'm not still stuck on AngularJS and Ionic 1 or something like this. It's really hard to be satisfied and happy about the achievements of the day. Um, yeah, I worked on this, it was okay, but well, will it earn money? I don't know. And that's uh, in the end really the result you uh, need to have as a self-employed developer. Anyway, I'm looking forward to my SSD. I will wrap up my task for today. I was out for a run. Now it's time for some lunch break and then maybe an hour more of work and then as usual the regular afternoon playtime. <laughs> All right, finished another task for the application. So there are actually maybe just two, three more days of work for the app and then I could actually get started with the book. Really excited about that. My week usually has a theme. So in the beginning of the week, I create the content. Then I work on consulting project Thursday for my own project. And Friday is for the last open task, administrative things like answering YouTube, answering questions, comments, creating welcome videos for new members, sending out or scheduling emails. So a lot of these things tomorrow, but I look forward to the last task and the last day of the week. then Friday morning. So yesterday evening I set up my external SSD. Uh, it was kind of late and today I also got up very early actually before 5 a.m. because Friday is always special. I call with my brother early in the morning since he's living in California. I start my day really early and I will always get out of bed real quickly. Now for today I will try to finish setting up my environment. I'm mostly done with everything but of course I also need to work on all the other tasks like answering my comments, emails, Facebook comments and some other small things. So let's try to finish this because I usually want to be finished uh, Friday on noon so I can take uh, off the afternoon which is of course currently the standard but I still I uh, want to maintain this so I as a self-employed developer can still look forward to a free weekend just like a regular employee. made a quick tour to the house that we're currently building. I don't really have a lot of time today. I just finished answering the emails and all this stuff. I still got some work to do with uh, setting up my new Mac because it's crashing whenever the Mac goes to sleep, but I guess it's just a Mac issue and not uh, related to the new SSD, which works kind of great so far. This was my week as a self-employed developer during the current situation. I would love to know how you can currently work from home, uh, how it works for you, and of course, as well, 
if you enjoyed this kind of different episode with more behind the scenes or more real life stories. It's a bit different if you followed me in the past you might have seen uh, videos like this uh, as well but this one was actually more focused on the developer stuff that I do during the week. Let me know what you think about this video, leave a like if you enjoyed it, I'm happy if you enjoyed it and then I will of course meet you next week like always so stay safe and happy coding, Simon. <laughs>